So we are at 8 Isabella, and it's a great little location here. Um, nice short street. Um, it's right at the end of the street with a circular driveway. And the garage is going out over to the side. Roof looks to be in good shape. Of course, a, an inspection would, would tell us more about that. But let's go on into the house. Um, coming up the steps, these are, it is wood. So, you know, one of the things that probably would be nice to do is replace this long term. It's fine. It, it's ac actually in very good shape. But maybe a long term would be to uh, to put some Trex type decking down here. Um, but again, it's fine right now. We'll go go on in pretty front doors. The marble, there's marble in the foyer here. I would probably pull that up um, or at least replace some. It looks like they probably had some kind of plant. I would bet something to here that's discolored because it's on both sides of the of the door and there's a little bit of cracked tile here. But let's have a look at the, the home in general. Nice high ceilings in here. The floors are really beautiful. They have the, you know, this could be modernized a little bit, but decorating may take care of that as well. And just a gorgeous view out here. You're right on the pond, but, um, you know, as long as you're, you're careful, I don't think that that would be a, a big, big issue. Again, the, the deck out back here is in good shape. It's a really nice size. Have some birds right, right here. Um, and then the pool looks to be in good shape as well. I don't know if this is a spa here or if it's just a little, I don't know if that's heated is what I'm trying to say. Not a huge yard to maintain, which is kind of nice, but very nice setting. A little bit of wood rot over in here and over right in, right in here. But again, you know, it, it's gonna take some maintenance, but I'm kind of thinking about it in terms of what, uh, <laughs> what, what we had been proposing um, over in Spanish Wells. You have two uh, awnings that come out here to give you some some relief from the uh, from the sun. There's a little bit of wear and tear here, but nothing nothing major. Then you come into another really nice room with tall ceilings that exits out. Again, you could spend a little bit of time redoing the, the fireplace, but that's, I don't think that would be a big expense. Your kitchen, the kitchen cabinets look fine. The pink countertops, yeah, you might wanna, wanna replace those um, at some point. But a nice size kitchen with an island. Nice drawers. And then, then nice cupboard space here. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, yeah, little little spice, spice door, spice face here. Nice eat-in area. Have a little bit of something going on, on here. This goes down to the, to the garage. And then your washer and dryer are off the kitchen. Oh, this looks like a little dumb waiter coming up from the, how cool, coming up from the garage. That's awesome. All right, let's go over and look at the other side of the house. So you have your formal dining. Again, the floors are, are all really in good shape. Just to give you a look back into the kitchen and family room. 
We have a, a, a bedroom or a study in the front. Carpets are going to need to be replaced in here. That is just, I think it's ink. And this wall has gotten banged up a little bit. Um, this, this bath is going to need to be redone. But it really could just, I mean, you could replace that. You could really take the, the uh, wallpaper off for now and, and just clean the bath up a bit. And I think it could be, could be good for a while. I don't know that that's an absolute must. Nice coat closet here. This would need to be redone. But again, another look at this, at this really pretty, pretty room. In the front, we have a good sized bedroom in the front here with the vaulted ceiling. And then you have two closets on either side in this room. It's a Jack and Jill bath. Now it does only have a single, single vanity in here. And I think that that's because you have the closet space. 